Hi, everybody. <laughs> ah. I noticed uh, this morning my neck beard is coming in nicely. Yep, and uh, I'm smoking e-cigarettes now. Can you still call it smoking if it's vapor? Also, there's no real tobacco in this. It's just a bunch of flavoring and some nicotine. But nicotine's the part I really like. Nicotine's kind of a wonder drug if you actually read about it by itself. I mean, all that we really know it for, you know, most people is its addictive properties. But it has a lot of really positive attributes. Like it improves concentration. I mean, it improves cognitive function overall. There, there's improvement in uh, memory, all kinds of shit. So nicotine is good. And that is my contention. And it's good that it's addictive, because the fact that it's addictive ensures that you will continue to take your medicine. What other, I mean, like, you know, I, I got a cold a few days ago, and, um, you know, I went to the doctor because it was getting pretty bad. I was hacking up along all the time, and um, I asked him basically, like, you know, what, you know, what, what should I do? And they looked, and uh, I had an infection, and uh, they prescribed me some uh, uh, antibiotics and shit to kill the infection. And, I'm, and they said, you know, take this for 10 days. You know, even if the symptoms go away, keep on taking it. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to listen to my fucking doctor. I'm going uh, to take these for 10 fucking days. You know, even if the symptoms are gone by day four, I will continue to take it. Of course... The symptoms went away, I stopped taking the pills, I got a fucking half full bottle of pills in there that I probably won't ever take again. Uh, you know, at least until I have my uh, next I infection, and then I won't even bother going to the doctor, I'll just take those fucking pills. Um, you know, which you're not supposed to do, but who the fuck doesn't do that? Um, so, yeah, you know, but, but you, this would never happen with nicotine, because, you know, nicotine, it fucking demands that you do it again. It's like, hey, it's, it's nicotine time. Nicotine is, is more insistent. It's like, hey, hey, fucker, time for your nicotine. It's in the drawer. Get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, anyway, there's a phrase that bothers me. A phrase that you hear a lot. Uh, you know, it, someone goes to prison, basically. Like, anytime, there's, anytime any criminal goes to jail or, or you know, whatever... Uh, or, or, you know, someone does something illegal and you're trying to scare them straight or whatever. Uh, you know, well, uh, don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. The implication is you drop the soap and then you get raped in the ass. Um, here, it, reminds, it really does, like, okay, I mean, well, first of all, on a serious note, um, the Constitution specifically prohibits cruel and unusual punishment to criminals. And uh, the fact that we know rape is rampant in prisons and yet we do nothing about it means that we are knowingly and willingly sending people to a place where they are far more likely to be raped, which to me seems like cruel and unusual punishment. So all you fucking strict constitutionalists out there might want to get on this rather than continuing to misinterpret the Second Amendment. Thank you. That'd be wonderful. Um, anyway, um... Uh, but, but there's other reasons it bothers me. More nitpicky kind of reasons. Like, if you're going to get raped in prison, like, I don't think the, the rapist is sitting there waiting for you to drop the soap, you know? I mean, you know, what's the idea there? You bend over, everyone's going to say, hey, he's already bent over, might as well get some. I mean, is that really going to happen? Uh, I mean, if they really want to fuck you in the ass, they can bend you over themselves. They don't need to wait until you've done it on your own power. They can just walk up to you and be like, Bring the fuck over, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm riding you like a pig, boy. You know? Um, so, so you know, there's there's no need. You know, you, plus, if, if, if I was in prison and I dropped the soap... Just, just don't pick it up. Like, if you're really that fucking worried about someone sticking a big dick up your ass, just don't pick the soap up. Leave it there. You know what? Who's gonna, who's gonna make you pick it up? Like, some black dude comes up, pick up that soap, white boy. I don't think so. No, you pick it up. I'm. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, <coughs> I'm, I'm fucking, I'm ugly as fuck. 
So they don't, they'd only rate me out of like a revenge thing. You know, they're not gonna, be, they're not gonna look at me like, ooh, who's this, who's the new girly boy? No, no, no. They'd only rate me out of like, oh, you know, let's just rape that guy to humiliate him and denigrate him and show him we're more powerful. But you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna, if some prison rapist comes at me, I'm just gonna grab his cock and just bend it the wrong fucking way. You know? That seems like a good countermeasure. And then if they beat the shit on me afterwards, who cares? You know? Doesn't really matter. I'm in prison anyway. My life is already shit. I got nothing to fucking lose. You can beat my ass all you fucking want. But yeah, this, the phrase "don't drop the soap" is silly. It's just fucking silly. Cause uh, it's let's go over the reasons once more. A little summary here. One, it's it's unconstitutional to normalize that sort of thing in our prison system. Two, it doesn't make any fucking sense from the standpoint of it's you know the, the, the rapist doesn't need you already bent over in order to rape you. And number three, just don't pick up the fucking soap. 